How are you doing today? I'm Jim from Rigid. We're here to talk about our line of plumbing locators. We're going to talk about the Scout and the Navitrack Scout locator and the Navitrack 2 locator. Navitrack Scout locator is our base plumbing locator, most popular for doing SON locating with our Sea Snake camera line systems. Features of our Scout locator, we've got omnidirectional antennas. So we've got two and two, so four total antennas. Now the advantage to an omnidirectional antenna is that it's a 360 degree searching for the signal. As opposed to a peak and a no, these will search in every direction. This runs on 4C batteries as opposed to rechargeable. You're going to get about 16 hours of runtime on a set of batteries. Now you've got a very simple screen. Advantage of our locators over a lot of other locators is that it's one screen gives you all your information. There is no toggling between multiple screens. We power the unit on. First thing we're going to notice is the frequency that's actually displayed. So every sound is actually sending out a frequency at 512 hertz. We can see 512 is displayed. Now the number in the corner is our proximity number. That number is very important. The higher the number, the closer we are to our signal. So as we actually move away from our signal, the number drops. As we move closer to our signal, the number increases. We're going to use that as a guide to find our sound or our camera. So as we move to the actual camera itself, we're going to find the equator line and we're going to get a depth reading. What we'll notice is as the number increases, we will see our poles and the equator line. The equator line is going to be our camera head. If we hold down the button, it will give us a depth reading. So again, one foot two inch. If we move it, one foot three inch, it is a real time depth. So again, we are pinpointing location and depth of our camera in the pipe underground. This is a locator that's going to excel again in sound locating to find our camera head. Um, it will give us depth reading. It'll give us a frequency of 512 hertz to locate our cameras. We can do some very simple line tracing, but it is essentially a plumbing locator. Um, the advantage of the Navitrack 2 as opposed to the Scout, it does have a collapsible mast. It adds two additional antennas. It has a larger screen. It'll actually give real-time depth whereas the Scout will only give us depth when we actually position our camera head. So the larger screen is easier to see all your information, a larger mapping display. Same information is displayed. We can see our 512 SON frequency we're trying to locate. We can see our proximity number. The higher the, the number, the closer we are to our actual SON. We also have a real-time depth reading, which is an advantage over the Scout, and a larger mapping display. We're going to use our proximity signal again to find our poles. The one advantage of the Navitrack 2 over the Scout is when we find our pole, the double line displayed tells us the direction of the pipe under the ground. Now if we continue to the equator line, we have real-time depth. As you can see, we're 10 inches from the source, we're spot on and we can still see the direction of the pipe underground. Uh, but the red locators or plumbing locators excel at sound locating and simple line trace features.